Hello everyone. Happy to be back with one more video on my favorite topic that is dishwashers. In all my years of dishwasher usage, my research on dishwashers and related uh, topics is always on and every day is a new learning experience to me and I share all my learnings with my viewers. Many viewers keep writing to me their tedious uh, values and ask me if it is suitable for buying a dishwasher. Even there are quite a few uh, dishwasher users who also write to me asking about uh, the suitability of their TDS to the dishwasher. So in this video, I am going to cover the most important uh, aspect or rather share this information regarding water testing before buying a dishwasher. Whether it is TDS or water hardness, I have covered this topic uh, earlier too. Five years ago, I have uploaded a video on this topic. If you have not seen that video, you can check out the link provided above. But I thought it is relevant to discuss the topic once again and that's why I am back with this video. But in a different angle, I will be explaining in detail. So, I will request you all to watch the video till the end. Before going to the actual explanation, if you ask me whether you can buy a dishwasher or use a dishwasher based on a TDS value, my answer would be a no. Don't buy a dishwasher by just knowing a TDS. You have to know the water hardness before using a dishwasher or even buying a dishwasher for which you have to test your water. A TDS and water hardness are two different things. What you require for a dishwasher is not TDS but the water hardness. TDS means total dissolved solids and it's a measure of all minerals dissolved in water. Whereas water hardness is a measure of only calcium and magnesium salts present in water. So hard water causes stains and white deposits on taps, geysers, sinks, etc. So it is a water hardness and not the TDS which impacts the cleaning in the dishwasher because of the scaling and the deposits. And this in turn affects the life and durability of the machine. A few months back, I opened my uh, retail outlet to sell dishwashers. I also sell robotic cleaners. They, uh, these are the two specialized items which I will be selling in my uh, outlet. And uh, generally, people test water using a TDS meter like this. I bought this uh, TDS meter. So, I thought this will be useful for me. But I will not be going by this. I already do water testing in a lab. So, after that, I have done a lot of testings for my friends and other uh, dishwasher users and even now when uh, anybody comes to buy dishwasher at my place I get their water tested so I thought this will be useful to do comparisons and that is how I ended up with this video because I could compare both the TDS and the water hardness tested in the lab though it was not uh, a surprise for me it was a true revelation when I saw the comparison between the two the readings of the TDS as well as the water hardness tested in the lab which is what I am going to share now by showing a few examples. So, let's see. So, now I will show testing of a uh, few water samples which I have already got with me. And uh, uh, parallelly, I will be showing the readings of the corresponding water hardness which I got it uh, tested from the lab. From these uh, few samples, you can see the difference between TDS and water hardness. But I can't say that uh, there is a conversion factor from TDS to water hardness. There is, there is no formula for converting TDS to water hardness. But from the various samples that I have uh, tested, 
I can say one, only one thing that uh, the water hardness is at least 30 to 50 percent lower than the corresponding TDS. I've already posted a checklist video of five important things required for buying a dishwasher. You check out the link above. So in that, I've also mentioned water hardness. So you will be getting your water tested or if you're already using a dishwasher, you must have tested your water or you must be having the TDS reading. So now I would like to request viewers. So those of you who have your uh, water tested, and you have the TDS reading as well as the water hardness reading, please share it in the comment section. It will help me understand the correlation between the TDS and water hardness in a better way. So whether you are an existing dishwasher user or plan to buy one, do not test TDS. But it is better to test your water hardness from a food water testing laboratory in your city. It just cost a few hundred rupees and uh, it's a one-time expense but it will definitely give you a accurate reading of water hardness which in turn will help you readjust your salt and rinse it sitting in your dishwasher and which will help you reduce the consumption of salt rinse aid and detergent and reduce the overall cost and not only that you'll get effective and desired cleaning result in your dishwasher hope you find this video useful give a thumbs up if you like this video and do share this video because I think the time is not very far when every Indian household having a washing machine will definitely have a dishwasher and this topic is very relevant to that and uh, it will definitely benefit all those people so share it as much as you can and of course as always I welcome your comments give your comments and thoughts in the comment section I'd love to read it and uh, reply to each and every comment Till my next video, it's bye-bye from Bona. Thank you. Take care.